please note that this is not a kid friendly channel. This channel is for adult collectors, for anime figures, collectibles and various other anime items. Greetings and salutations to you my beautiful nerd people, it is I, Rachel S. How's it going? I have yet another delayed box review for you today, so yeah, sorry I haven't been uploading as much, unfortunately I've been busy with more hours at work etc etc, so I haven't really had much time to do any box reviews so I do apologise, but hey ho, we're here with another box and this is Nihon box and this is the May box, so I kind of wanted to review all my boxes in the month orders rather than Higgle Piggle because I'm a bit, you know, I like everything in date order. <laughs> uh, so this is the May box, like I said, and this theme is uh, Japan Spirits, so it's all about heroes, so uh, I'm pretty sure there was Bleach, Naruto, Dragon Ball and some other stuff in here, so looking forward to reviewing this box. I have opened it, I opened it months ago, I can't really remember what's in here because I'm trying to avoid you know digging through the boxes and getting spoilers because you know i want to share the surprise with you guys because you enjoy my videos and i enjoy you liking my videos so <laughs> uh hey ho so just gonna open it up and show you what's inside so first up we have the cover art which sort of gives us teasers of what's in it so here it is japan spirit uh so we have oh we have pikachu uh, there's Naruto, there's Goku, and I'm pretty sure that's Sen from Spirited Away there at the corner. So I wasn't expecting Spirited Away, so that's pretty cool. Because uh, she is quite heroic in that film, actually. And it was the first anime film I ever saw at the cinema. Banging film. <laughs> anyway, without blabbering, let's... Oh, there's a big plushie, so I'm going to leave that last. I think I remember what the plushie was now, but I don't want to spoil it. So I'm going to go with the small item first. Um, here is the pamphlet to explain everything we need to know. So if there's any Japanese snacks or any traditional items we're not sure of, there's an explanation. So first item, it feels like a shirt. Ooh, and it is a Naruto bottle shirt. I'm not quite sure what a bottle shirt means. Is it recycled or... I'm not sure. It's a medium, so I'm hoping it's going to fit me because usually I need a little Asian meat, a large, extra large, because they do, they were quite tight. Because I had a Demon Slayer shirt from this box before, and it was a little bit too small on me, which was a bit disappointing. Uh, so I'm pretty sure it's going to feature this design. So I'm just going to open it up and show you what it looks like. All right, so here's the shirt. It's a little bit snug on me on the sleeves, but other than that, it's quite a nice shirt. So as you can see, it just features the design uh, that was on the packet. So this one here of uh, Naruto, if you can't quite see on my camera. So yeah, it's quite a nice shirt. I don't have enough Naruto shirts, to be honest. Um, I haven't really watched the show since Shippuden, kind of like the middle of the series, because I kind of, I lost interest after all the filler episodes because they were waiting for the books to be written. Um, but don't get me wrong, Naruto is still usually in my top 20 animes. So yeah, I like this. It's comfy. So yeah. Root shirt, item number one. So let's crack on. I'm gonna go for the small stuff again. So we have a box and ja oh, it's Pocket Monsters and it's a very neat looking box. So I'm wondering if this is the traditional item because it feels like a crockery item in here. Oh, oh my god, this is adorable. Oh, I wish I had a plate holder. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think this is the traditional item of the box and here we go. And uh, it's a little tiny Pokemon plate in a Japanese traditional style. And as you can see, there's Pikachu. It looks like he's running through some sort of land or grass. And there's a, uh, I think that's a Wingle at the top there flying around. That is actually really super cute. And it's official Nintendo product, as you can see on the back. So this is Pocket Monsters. That is so super cute. I love that. So I've got a sneeze coming up. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm just going to refer to the booklet for two seconds. Uh, so, oops, excuse me, hair's tickling my nose, that's probably why I'm sneezing. <laughs> uh, so this is called the Koroza Pokemon dish. So small plates like this are called Koroza in Japanese, are commonly used as Japanese tableware and an element of decoration. We like this one with its traditional wave shape pattern called Shihigara and featuring Pikachu and Wingo, and we hope you enjoy as much as we do. So yeah, that's really cool. I love collecting Japanese crockery, especially stuff with anime on it, even better. So it'd be cute as like a little like um, sushi dipping dish, you know, like for soy sauce. So I'm definitely keeping that. So that's super cool. So that's item number two. 
that oh okay i remember this item because i use this during the summer a lot during a heat wave and it's a fan <laughs> and it's a spirit away fan i i see this has been so long since i've used it <laughs> since i got it so yeah it's a traditional japanese fan i use this so much and um it's really super nice so you've got you uh zaniba uh sen and no face enjoying tea on one side yes it's zaniba because i remember the film it's a twin sister of the um, other one. <laughs> I forgot her name. Um, I forgot her name, <laughs> totally. And uh, there's No Face and uh, Sen bowing to the lamp. So yeah, that is really... Yubaba! Sorry, Yubaba. That's it. Yubaba and her twin sister, Zaniba. So yeah, sorry, I had to remember. Whew, I'm actually feeling quite hot right now. I can't have my windows open because somebody outside right now is having a bonfire at nine o'clock in the morning. So yeah thanks dude <laughs> so this will come in handy <laughs> uh so just gonna look at the booklet real quick uh so this is the spirit away uchiwa the uchiwa are traditional japanese hand fans and the one included in your box features one of the scenes from miyazaki's masterpiece spirit away and you are now ready to face these upcoming hot days wow maybe for next year now but i'm still quite warm at the minute <laughs> Uh, it is quite cold outside but it's really warm in here because I've got the immersion heater in my bedroom and it's heating up at the moment so that's why my room's so warm so yeah really super cool love this because I collect a lot of Japanese fans so this will be added to my collection and yeah item number three so let's keep digging so I'm trying to avoid the big items so next up is Jung. it's bleach and I think this is a uh, folder. Actually, no, it feels too big to be a folder. Ooh, this is actually quite nice. My friend Shane would love this. Uh, so here we go. I think this is actually a poster, but it's like clear plastic. And I think this is from the final series because I never actually watched it, but I, I know that these are the bad guys at the top. And there's Ichigo and one of the hollows, I think. I, I, I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I haven't watched Bleach for years. Unfortunately, I kind of lost interest in it after season one. And I, I need to watch it as an anime fan. But I have too many anime to watch. So I'm just going to look at the book. Uh, so this is just this clear poster of Bleach. So a lot of you are asking for manga posters in our boxes. As, so it has not to do things in half. Here is a beautiful one featuring bleach and made out of plastic for higher quality. How cool is this? Uh, so I might sell this or I might give this to one of my friends at work because he's a massive bleach fan and I think he'd appreciate it a lot more than me. Uh, but don't get me wrong, it's really super nice artwork, but I've got nowhere to put it on my wall. Literally, my, my walls are covered in shelving and Funko Pops at the minute. So <laughs> don't get me wrong, really cool item, but... Yeah, just not for me, unfortunately. But hey, ho, that's the luck of the box. You're not going to get everything you like, but you can give somebody else something. So yeah, that's that's the luck of the box. You know, share the happiness with other nerds. So let's carry on. So we have oh oh we have a bonus item and jung It's an Animal Crossing item. Yay! I love Animal Crossing. I have literally been playing it all week for the Halloween event to try and get all the pumpkin. Um, recipes and stuff to make all the furniture. Oh, this is a really weird feeling fabric though. It's quite soft, but it's like fuzzy. Oh, this is really cute. It's a phone case. Um, this is adorable. So on one side uh, we have Isabel and KK Slider, and the other side is the two llamas. I forgot their names. I think it's Noel and something. I can't remember. I I haven't played the app game for a few weeks. Uh, they're not unfortunately in the um, New Worlds game, but I'm hoping, New Horizon, sorry, they're going to be featured in the game soon. I really hope so, because I tried inviting them via the cards, but you're not allowed to because they're in-game characters and you're not allowed to invite them to your island. Uh, so basically, it's a um, handbag tidy. So if you want to put your phone in your handbag and you don't want it to get lost, you can basically unpop the little handles and you can clip it to your handbag handle and um it's sort of tidy inside your bag so then you won't use it that's actually a very very neat idea especially if you're at expo at, or a convention and you've got a handbag and literally you're wearing gloves and you can't dig grab anything and you're looking for your phone to take a picture of a cosplayer like really quick that'll actually come in very handy when i'm dressed as badass because i have no pockets on my dress and i love animal crossing so double win so thanks for the bonus item nihon so really cool all right we have a few items left so ooh, ooh, i've been wanting to destroy japanese kit cats for ages and i finally got some so ah, oh, awesome! I think these are oh, they're matcha flavored. 
I'm a little bit so-so with matcha stuff because sometimes it could be quite sweet and sometimes it could be quite bitter so it's a very very uh, unique taste I should say but I have tried a matcha Kit Kat before and it was it didn't really taste of matcha to be honest it tasted more vanilla -y. I don't know if it was just me uh but yeah we've got some like mini like little Kit Kat like chunky ball things and I'm looking forward to trying those with some tea uh so these are the uh Kit Kat ball matcha flavor uh so this is one of Nestle's best sellers in Japan the famous matcha flavored Kit Kat the ultimate Japanese flavor these ones are a bit special since they're shaped like a they, they are shaped like a small ball to be eaten and better even shared to um with friends a true delight so yeah looking forward to trying those because i love trying new japanese snacks and i'm getting a bit peckish so i might have those later this afternoon with some tea i think we're down to two items and oh okay <laughs> we actually have a traditional item so i'm guessing the pokemon plate wasn't and it looks like uh, a lantern or a fish i'm not going to open it up because i don't want to wreck it because excuse me i've got nowhere to hang it up at the minute and if my cats get hold of this they'll just trash it because they're in my bedroom at the minute and they're on the bed here at the moment <laughs> i will move my camera and show you but i don't want to spook them uh so this is called a kingyo kufimasen Kufimasen are typically small Japanese paper balloons that can be used as a skill game or a decoration. The one featured in your box has the form of a goldfish or a kingaro. Just blow into the hole for it to take shape. It's a nice decoration, but you can also have fun with it by throwing it up and hitting it. Well, that would ruin it, wouldn't it, if you hit it? So basically, that's what it looks like when it's blown up. So it looks like a little fish. Kind of looks like a a very surprised Magikarp. <laughs> you could probably customise it actually and paint it like a Magikarp and put on some paper accessories. So yeah, that's unique. I love getting traditional decorations. So really super cool. Right, we're down to the last item. I know it's going to be Dragon Ball and I can't wait to see what this plush is. So fingers crossed it's really cool. So, oh my god, I just saw it. I just saw bright orange. Okay, I got away. I'll have to take this out of the plastic first. I think this is as a a drama. Uh, let's see who it is. Oh, oh, this is really soft. So I'm gonna put it to the camera. So, da -da <laughs> oh my god, I love it! I love it! Oh my god, it's Goku as a drama. Uh, if you know what a drama is, it's uh, a traditional Japanese ornament um, that you usually paint. It has like a blank two blank eyes and you usually paint one of the eyes i think it's even for protection or for luck and basically you put it in the household and it protects you from evil spirits and stuff and this is a goku one uh i'm not sure what this means i'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be kami house or something uh but oh this is amazing i love it uh yeah so it just says drama and i'm pretty sure there was two variants of this i think there was a margin boo one which i would have loved and the Goku one. So I might have to try and hunt the Margin Boo one down. Oh my god, there was a Margin Boo one. Oh, I didn't get Margin Boo. So there's the Boo one, which looks super, super cute. And he's got the Margin logo there. Uh, so this is the Drama Dragon Ball plush. When the Dragon Ball characters merge with one of the most popular symbols of Japan, the result in, is awesome. This official Dragon Ball plush is the shape of a Drama, and you will find a special place in your collection. The two characters available, Son Goku, or Majin Buu. A little more about the drama in the Discover Japan section, which, <laughs> oh, it's on the back here. Uh, so yeah, basically that's what a drama looks like. And yeah, you paint it and yeah, it's really super cool. But they're really, really expensive and they're huge. They're like really big and they're, uh, they're like full like chunks of wood, like made from logs. So yeah, there's all about the uh, dramas on the back here. So like ev every month on the pamphlet, you get some Japanese history and, um, you know, you can learn all about Japan's traditional cultures and holidays and stuff, which is really super fun. Right. So that was everything in the main box, guys. Again, I'm sorry it's late, but I had to wait for postage to come here and yeah, time to film and everything. So just quick to review, we had the Dragon Ball Drama Plush, my favourite item of the box. The Naruto bottleneck shirt. We had the Spirited Away cool fan. The Pokemon plate, which I absolutely love. The Matcha Kitokato balls. The traditional goldfish balloon. 
bleach poster and my bonus item for being a member because if you're a member for a certain amount of time you get bonus items a animal crossing phone case so guys what was your favorite item in this month's box and what variant would you have liked of the dragon ball plush would you have preferred goku or would you prefer margin boo so leave in the comments below and as always please like the video share and subscribe so anyway guys i'm gonna say sayonara stay nerdy stay happy and wear a mask and keep safe my peeps bye